What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another special episode of Crash and Thunders. I am your host, Crash. And I'm Thunders. And we got some special guests here with us today, the young boys from Jersey. We got Yo! Sonora. We got so, Dylan. We got Nick. We got Daniel. And we got John. So, fellas, how are we doing tonight? Fantastic. Awesome. Awesome, guys. I And, like, like I, as – for the viewers, they're on their way to a show right now in about an hour or so. Till it's That's why we're in the car. We've been driving for like three and a half hours already. So. Yes. And you guys are playing with Wild Street tonight, right? That's yeah, right. So, yep. Right. Uniontown, PA. Nice. Good yeah. stuff. Good stuff. That hell of a bill. Hell of a bill. But. Yeah, that's right. So we're here to talk rock about full you of rock today. that one for damn sure. Oh, hell, <laughs> hell yeah. So, guys. Tell us a little bit about what, you know, the new stuff that came out recently, like your new single. Uh, how did that get received? Well, it's funny. We we wrote that song years ago. Mm -hmm. Like when we, we weren't even called Zonori yet when that, like, the first idea of the song came about. And right. we did the first record and we were like, ah, we're not going to do this song. It's not ready yet. We did the second record and we were like, yeah, maybe we'll do it. And we did. And we, but we didn't release it with the second record. We released it, you know, just recently as a single itself right now. And right. everybody, we've gotten a little bit of positive feedback on it so far. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, we it's, liked it. Yeah, it's a good song. Nice. I, I mean, yeah. yeah, pretty much all your guys' stuff's pretty good. That's why we like you, you know? So, <laughs> so yeah, guys, tell us kind of like, let's kind of rewind a little bit here and go to the beginning. Like, how did you guys meet? You know, how did the band get started? You know, if when do you guys want to take the wheel on that, you know? And, and you're in. Yeah, I mean, we all too. met at a, a rock school called Rock University. It was like a class for people who wanted to be live performers, really. So we all met in there. We were all young. Um, and, you know, we were all in different bands and stuff. And time went by and we got together, you know, out of the bands that we had. Started making good music and playing shows and different level shows than uh, our the bands that were around us, you know, uh, a little more eccentric. Yeah, and around the time we first met, we were all, like, 12, 13, 14 years old, yeah. you know, and we were all in different bands. Me and John were in a band called Scarlet Sunrise, and Nick and Dan were in a band called War Machine, and we used yeah. to play shows together. You know, we were friends. Mm -hmm. yeah, right, so right. We grew up in that music school, which, uh, I don't know if you said it or not, but it's called Rock University right. in Turnersville, New Jersey, and, uh, yeah, and we were just like, why aren't we in a band together? And yeah. we should be, and now we are, and we love playing music together. And the chemistry is, the, the musical chemistry has been together the way it is because of how long we've been playing together. You know, and mm -hmm. when we were playing together when we were younger, it was like we're not really playing together because we're in different bands. But in right. reality, we were absorbing like what the other musician was, you know, putting off, and like now we can intertwine that together because we know what our roots came from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, you could definitely tell in your songs and the live performances that I've seen, you know, you guys are just clicking on all cylinders, especially live. Like you guys put on a great live show. So I mean, every time you guys come around, I'm there, you know, so. It's well, watching the video. I think that you had me react to way back when um, a lot of things that stood out was there's an element of fun where you guys don't take yourselves extremely seriously and like, you know, oh, I've got to get myself together, you know, you're just like, yeah, fuck it, you know, and just, you have a nice organic vibe to you, there's no pretenses or anything like that. What are some of your guys' influences, though, and what kind of shaped your sound, I guess, in a way, if I could say that? Kiss. Kiss. Van Halen. <laughs> Mo Motley Crue. Hey, all right, all um, right. Yeah, those classics, Black Sabbath, yeah. Deep Purple, Metallica. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I remember correctly, the two in the back, like uh, Metallica and Dream Theater, right? If I remember correctly. All right, good, good, good. Nice. <laughs> uh, Lots of different stuff going on. Yeah, yeah. Definitely a lot of different stuff going on in that band. You know, music, like what they grew up on, what they like. But like when, when it comes to the, their music, it's a straightforward idea, and you guys deliver it very well. So, so how long did it take when you guys first got together as a band? Then, 
to when the first EP or album came out then? Uh, all four of us started jamming together mm -hmm. as one band in 2018. Okay. Okay. And then the first record came out in 2020. Right. Nice. And we we probably, yeah, that's it right there. There you go. Yep. <laughs> and we, we probably wrote 25 to 30 songs, you know, me and Nick jamming. And I mean, us, we were all, we've all been jamming from the years prior to that, but it was like not all four of us together. So yeah. we all had ideas that we had written from years prior that shaped into that first demo session of, we were called Pyramid then. And that, that's what we were, we were just Pyramid because yeah. there's four of us in the four bottom parts of the pyramid linked to one that's the only idea there but there was a band that from the 80s that was called pyramid and they were okay. like hey nice name we were like damn yeah. <laughs> <laughs> isn't that kind of funny how the bands that nobody remembers kind of come out of the woodwork when you use their name nirvana had the same thing <laughs> happen to them <laughs> yeah but, uh, so yeah so the first record or first ep record comes out and you guys did some how many shows did you guys do in between that? Because then the next year, or is it the same year? Same year. Yeah, same year, Bring Back Rock and Roll comes out. Right. So, and I have to say, I think I prefer Bring Back Rock and Roll a little bit more than the debut. But you guys just, for being EPs, like your first two, your debut stuff, you guys are like clicking like you have been together since you were 12 and right. that makes total sense you know so so I, I guess pretty much was the second ep a little bit easier to record and like find a direction where you guys were going with it or was it kind of like we kind of have all 20 songs or 30 songs that you wrote and we're just throwing them out you know we're recording them and well we picked the best ones that we felt from that list going into the second record mm -hmm. of the however many songs it was we picked the best ones we thought we could track the best you know mm -hmm, and right. you know the the way that the studio goes where everything's very quick and precise and professional so we did that we went in we cut uh, six, songs six songs and a couple days and um you know they were all pretty much live tracked i mean there's overdubs and stuff but those the the basis of the recordings are us playing like a live band you know so yeah yeah. And, and that's cool why I like it so much. Yeah. <laughs> that live stuff you don't get often these days with modern recordings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, we try to keep the like the liveness, like to our live show. We try to capture that in the studio as best as we possibly can with a couple microphones. You know, exactly. and of keep course it energy. sounds different live. I feel like there's a little more energy live with most bands. Or maybe not some bands, you know, but <laughs> <laughs> yes. Exactly. I, I, and, and I, that's the word I was going to use too, is th there's definitely energy on these, you know, EPs, albums, and definitely whatever you guys are doing, you guys got to keep doing it because it's working. Absolutely. So We yeah. need more of this. Like I was telling Crash before we started, a lot of the good stuff has been coming out of Europe since we were in high school. Uh -huh. And it's nice to see you know, you guys, Wild Street and Johnny Jetson and some, you come from all these different areas around the country, but you all have the same kind of idea explained in a different way because you're all unique artists to your own. And it's really helping me have faith in American rock and roll again, because everything that we like has been coming out from you know, Europe and Scandinavia and stuff the past how many years? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you guys are kind of a breath of fresh air, you know, especially yeah, for our I, side of the rock and metal scene, you know, definitely. Especially since it's harder for a lot of those English bands like the Smoking Prophets and bands like that to actually get over here. Oh, yeah. You know, it's now, nice yeah. to have some kind of good music to go and see by people that aren't like three times our age. <laughs> Yeah, like yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah I, I kind of feel like the old guy when I go, you know, hang out and see you guys. I'm older than you, hush. <laughs> well, <laughs> a little bit. So, yeah, guys, uh, definitely, you guys have any information to give to the fans, you know, uh, on what's coming next or next couple months of shows or so? Do we have anything? Absolutely. So, on the 22nd of October, we're going to be at the Rusty Nail. We're headlining. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a 
a benefit for uh, Autism Speaks Charity. So all the benefit, all the you know, proceeds go to that organization, nice. which is awesome. And we love yeah. support and stuff you. like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, October 24th, we're going to be in New York City at the bitter end. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a pretty legendary place. I, a couple of years ago, yeah. I remember Lady Gaga played on the roof of that place. <laughs> yeah. it's like, I don't know yeah. how she even got up there. I get, there must be a ladder or something. But I'm going to find out. I was going to say, Sunday yeah. There. You're going to find mm -hmm. that shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take a picture on the roof and tag Lady Gaga. Maybe that'll get us famous quicker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, take maybe, a trip and see go. the Chelsea Hotel and shit like that, too, if you haven't been. Yeah, yeah, I've never it's, been there. I might live in New York State, but I'm seven and a half hours from the city. Wow. So, like, you know, wow. I think Crash might be a little bit closer than I am. Yeah, maybe, um, maybe a little. Maybe but a little. I have a buddy who's in a band out there called Pitch Black Sunrise, and he's, uh, you know, a paramedic out there. And he took some photos out front of the Chelsea and shit for me one night. You know, he's like, you got to get up here. I'm like, I need the money first. <laughs> <laughs> it does with like everything nice going place. on right now. It's kind of scary to travel long distances sometimes. Yeah, You never yeah. know what you're going to get in the next town. <laughs> exactly. So, yes, a little side story here. Do you guys have any crazy stories in your young career on the road here? Being in a rock band, any right, crazy right. stories that you can tell? <laughs> um, there might be a few we could tell. <laughs> uh, I don't know what. I was going to say, I don't want to put you on the spot. I don't want to put you on the just spot. Any kind of weird fan interaction, anything that just kind of made you go, this could not happen anywhere else but in a rock band. <laughs> um, it doesn't have to be a crazy groupie story or anything like that. Just anything that really sticks out in your head as something that was like, wow. like so yeah, or something real memorable, you know. Like last time we played on Wild Street, they have a uh, crazy fan who follows them around, and as soon as they seen her, they called the cops, and the cops had to come and take the lady out of the place. And really, she was screaming Wild Street. <laughs> that was pretty <laughs> awesome. Um, oh man, she's wearing a Cinderella yeah, yeah. shirt. Oh man, damn! Yeah. I, I don't. I, I never seen Cinderella fans go crazy like that. But man, I might have to meet her. Wow, wild. Wild. <laughs> uh, You'd be surprised, man. I took my freaking uh, my one little cousin when they were younger. Like, you know, my aunt had some health problems. She's like, I know you don't like them, but can you please take them to see Blackfield Brides? I can't <laughs> take them. I promised it, and it would be cool. I'm like she's like i'll feed you and buy you a beer i'm like okay deal yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> the beer is important and i mean yeah. they put on a good show they're not my thing someone had said you know during the opening band's performance hey they're out back signing autographs i'm like hey dude let's go you get a chance to meet him you know and he's like no way we were in line and he was so upset because some 12 year old girl was touching the singer and was like, can I kiss you? Can I have a piece of your hair? He's like, you can't touch me in any way. Mm. And then they went and touched him and he was whisked away by security at that instant. And go. I was just like, if you weren't 12, I would cuss you out right now because that was just <laughs> shitty. Uh, and I got another crazy story I can right. share with you. I just yeah. remembered it. Uh, we, we played at the 2300 Arena one time. Oh. In 2019, <laughs> we opened for uh, Tantric. Okay. And we're watching their set, and they get done playing. And the guitar player jumps off the stage and starts running. And I, I, he was, like, talking to us. And we, we were like, where'd he go? You know, and we look, and there's a whole bunch of people running to the door. So we start running to the door. We're like, okay, cool. <laughs> and then we roll up, and there's a brawl happening, Ooh. like, between the security guards with their batons are beating people, you know what I mean? And, like, I was just standing there like, How, what? Like, <laughs> it was just a rock. You know what I mean? I was like, I guess it's uh, rock and roll. You know, people get rowdy, but I don't understand why there was a brawl. But that was crazy. Yeah, damn. And that guy that would be crazy, especially like the way you described it. I can imagine it sounds like it took a process of like, you know, 10 minutes, but it was probably a lot quicker than that. Yeah. yeah, I don't know all the details because I never found out. But uh, yeah, I just remember that. I was like, damn, we That's just played wild. on this big stage with all these crazy people yeah. screaming. And all these crazy people were swinging. I'm like, yeah, you gotta get man, out of there. Gotta I get missed out of there. it, man. I missed <laughs> it. Like it, it all unfold, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, well, I see the repercussions, but I'm just wondering why. 
<laughs> yeah. What was this? Guy? I don't know. I'll tell you what. Our one buddy, I'm not gonna name his name. He got hit with the baton and like had to get stitches in his Ooh. eyebrow and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that was, was like, that's not fun. That's not. I think no contacts or something like that really sucks. So I understand your pain of just like, what just happened? Yeah, right. <laughs> Everybody was just walking around with question marks over their heads for the rest of the night, <laughs> <laughs> looking around real suspiciously. You know, head on a swivel. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, they do uh, say the only two emotions a human being really needs is confusion and anger. So I guess you add both of those <laughs> equally. <laughs> and a bunch of people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so my famous last question for everybody. Well, interview. I was going to, hey, well, we'll get to that. Well, oh, sorry, I, sorry. You know, hey, we'll get to that. So Didn't I was going to say, you guys for. can finish up. This is your like platform here. You can finish up with what you're going to say to the fans about new stuff. I think we only got to the dates so far. So, yeah. You know, if you want to finish up on that thought, you can. Totally. Yeah. Well, first things first. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in and watching and partying with Sonora. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, we are recording a live album on Halloween at Temple University. Um, John Harris, who does the sound and mixing for the Grammys for the 26 years in a row, is has a class at Temple University and him and his students for their like semester final or pick the band which is us to record a live set so we're going to play for 30 minutes and yeah. hopefully release that for everybody uh, to see awesome. so get a better taste of what it is live to Hell maybe yeah. come out and see us on i like that buy idea. a t-shirt too yes you can find oh we have a bunch of merch on our website we got we got brand new hoodies the t-shirts we got wristbands coffee mugs everything uh, going to music.com check it out and from yeah. there you can find all the social media links Spotify, Facebook, all that good stuff to keep up. I will definitely be in touch about some merch here very soon, guys. Yes. Definitely. And when you come around my area, let me know. I will make it there. And I will cool. put all those links to your stuff, to Zenora, in the description as well for this awesome. video. And I was going to say, yeah, definitely. You guys bring the merch. Definitely. Every show I go to, you guys are walking with like, suitcases like five suitcases yeah. worth of merch and i'm like holy the suitcases shit, are in awesome. the band back there <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know you guys always like bring like two three cars that just all merch not you guys just merch no. yeah <laughs> i just so, peeped i like your shirt man Hang oh yeah you like there. this you like nice. that nice and yeah. man, this is actually dude this is really good quality i'm really impressed like thank you if anybody likes small. that shirt you can go on our website and buy it right now yes sir and like what Eight others, eight other different designs. Yeah, there's a bunch yeah. of different designs we got. Yeah. There. Tank tops. Yeah. As I was gonna say, I had a very hard time choosing which one I wanted, but ended up that's always a good sign when a band has merch like that, and you're just like, which one do I fucking want? Exactly. Exactly. I'll give you a deal if you get one of everything. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be in touch about that. We'll be in touch. So, right. Thunders, if you want to finish off with the uh, final famous final question. It's a question as old as time, guys, for any band that's been interviewed by anybody. At the end of the day, what is it that you love about music that keeps you going? Hmm. No that's right or question. wrong answers. Um, it just puts me in the zone, really, for me. And, like, I've always loved concerts and all that stuff. Rock and roll, music in general. Just, like, it, it takes me somewhere mentally. I feel like it uh, takes me away, you know? <laughs> like, uh. Feels good. Yes, it does. I would say it helps me describe the way I feel better than words can. When I can't think of what to say. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know I can feel. And music makes you feel even more. And that's what's great about it. Yes. Well, that's a good answer, too. Does Johnny or, you know... Uh, yeah, yeah I, got, I got some... I got yeah, some go wisdom. Ahead. There we go. Got some wisdom. So, this, you have to speak someone's language for them to understand you but if you play a, if you have a drum drum player and a bass player and two guitarists who can rip out some mean riffs and people dance to that there's like a communal aspect to that art form that is like is unparalleled for me personally it's like it's the only kind of art form that brings people together in that way and that anyone can connect to regardless of their background Oh yeah, that that might have been the most scientific answer that we <laughs> had on the show. I like that one. That was a good one. So, yes, yes, a round of applause for uh, Chief for there. 
Anything, anything from Dan in the back there? Yeah. yeah, for me, it's just the live shows, like the energy that everyone brings and the crowd brings and like the adrenaline rush. That's why I do it. <laughs> yes, sir. That, that's, I think that's why we all kind of do music in the end, you know, just that live aspect, that energy, you know, and just that feeling. So the spiritual communion that you feel at a concert. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like a That's how I always kind of sort of put it in a way. Everybody's reaching up to touch something higher. They do that in church just as well. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So, my boys, I know you got a show coming up here very, very soon tonight. So, yeah. if you guys have anything else you want to say, just head, you know, just say it. You know, you can say whatever you want to say right now. There's your guys' platform. And if not, we can just uh, pretty much end it. Hell Have yeah, man. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Spotify. Listen to our music. Tell your friends about our music. Tell your friend's mother about our music. And tell her to tell her cousin that's about right. our music. And if she wants to show her dog, that's up to her. But I'm not going to hold anybody accountable for that. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Show the you gotta watch out for John, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, my guys. You guys. I, I can't disagree with that because honestly, if you're watching this channel and you truly believe in rock and roll, if you're not following them, there's something wrong with you. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> a, yeah, that's that's a true. I can't say it any better than that. So you know, all right, Zenora, thank you guys so much for coming on the show. Have a thank you guys. Show. Yeah. Yeah. When the when the next album drops, yeah, I hope you guys come back on. So, oh yeah, oh yeah. You know like I said, we're going to be recording that live record on October 31st at Temple University. So, all right, sounds good, my dude. Up for. Sounds good. Oh yeah. Thank you awesome. again, guys, for coming on. All right. Thanks, yeah, thanks for having thanks. us, man. All right, brother. Anytime, so, guys. Yes. Cool. So, guys, if you like what we're doing here with bringing bands in, like Zenora, like Wild Street, like Enough's Enough, click the subscribe button, click the like button, comment, leave a comment for Zenora. I'm sure they'll be, uh, you know, sleeping around the comments, seeing who's all coming by to say hi. So, guys, I guess until next time, that's Zenora, and I'm Crash. And I'm Thunders. And we will see you all later. Later, dude.